What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here, and today we're going to be talking about Parasite. Now if you guys did not know, Parasite is actually one of my favorite anime slash mangas of all time. So me going through this series and rereading it, definitely was a blast. And I was actually put onto Parasite, the anime, like a few years ago when I was getting back into anime. Right after JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I actually went into Parasite because I saw it was a 24 episode anime and I thought, what type of story could be told within 24 episodes? And is it actually gonna be finished or is it gonna be one of those cliffhangers? And honestly, I was in for a very wild ride for what Parasite presented to me. And I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was phenomenal. And so I thought to myself, when I got into manga collecting afterwards that Parasite has to be one of the series that I actually pick up in the manga format because because I love this so much in the anime, so I had to get it. And with the new color editions coming out soon for the manga itself, I thought it's best to, you know, actually talk to you guys about Parasite and whether or not you should buy those new color editions because I read this manga in color and honestly, it's definitely worth the cop. But before we actually get into talking about Parasite, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on all my other social media platforms if you have not already. All the links will be in the description down below. So, Mm. Let's go ahead and talk about my boy Shinichi and Miggy. Let's go ahead and talk about what Parasite is actually about. This story centers around our main character Shinichi. He's your average high schooler with a girlfriend living in a two-parent household until a random parasite penetrates his skin trying to go for his head to take over his body but fails at getting to his head and since these parasites only have one chance to go for the head before maturing, this parasite fails and is stuck inside Shinichi's right hand. <sighs> I know that was a lot, but that was just the first chapter. And to me, Parasite has such a great introduction chapter. This manga then turns into a story of Shinichi and his parasite Miggy having to cohabitate in the same body and learning to cooperate. Miggy can't survive without Shinichi and Shinichi has to learn with Miggy being his right hand. Over the course of this, other parasites are invading humans, causing kidnappings and murders under the guise as humans. With only Shinichi being privy to this information, can he stop them? And also, he has to keep our boy Miggy a secret for obvious reasons. But now with the plot out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some of my pros and my cons. And honestly, with my first pro, let's go ahead and talk about the theming and the messaging behind Parasite. Who are the true monsters of this world? Parasites are obviously depicted as monsters from the jump, but Miggy, the parasite inside our main character, begins to question the morality of humans seeing parasites as monsters more than themselves. How can parasites really be seen as monsters when they only eat one type of food and want to survive for the themselves while humans murder many different species to eat and value their lives above all other life. Now this is the type of powerful theming and messaging that got me to even question if humans were more monstrous than these parasites. Second pro has to be Shinichi's growth and development as a character. Throughout the story as Miggy and Shinichi learn to cohabitate, Shinichi begins to lose or question what makes him human. What does it mean to be human? What's the difference between being a parasite or a monster compared to being human? Can he still be human even with the parasite living in his body? These are some of the questions Shinichi wonders and has to learn to figure out over the course of the story. You could definitely kind of see where Tokyo Ghoul got inspirations for Kaneki and some of his early problems from. Seeing where Shinichi begins to who he starts to become over the course of the story is a very interesting growth that was well executed. Third pro has to be the uniqueness of Miggy and all the other parasites. Now, throughout these chapters, we are introduced to many other parasites, and I love what the mangaka does with this opportunity. While some parasites do have similar personalities, it's the ones who actually have a bit of characterization that I dig the most. Miggy is seen as a curious parasite, always wanting to learn and question certain philosophies and motives of humans while not having to consume humans like the other parasites. We also have Ryoko Tamiya, who wants to study and experiment with human life to the extent of even getting herself pregnant. Different Different goals and personalities make these parasites very interesting without it getting formulaic and predictable with just man-eating parasites. And my last pro has to be the artwork. The artwork depicting the horrific killing, the body horror, and the morphing from these parasites kind of gives your boy the heebie-jeebies. The anime makes it cuter than it seems, but there's some panels where I'm looking and it made me have to take a break, especially one near the end of the series. <sighs> it still haunts me in my dreams to this day. But now it's time to go to my cons, which... I really don't have any. Parasite is a series that I love from the jump. It doesn't have any glaring issues that really take away from the quality of the series, nor does it drag out arcs too long. One thing I wondered while reading was, do we really have to go through these motions? But with what the manga was setting up, we did. This isn't a story with a specific end goal, which I love, so we're on the roller coaster ride that the manga is. Now, for the sake of criticism, I can nitpick one thing. The end antagonist isn't the greatest, but I get what the manga was going for. 
Also, I feel that the theme and messaging that this series tries to get across is told to us directly instead of subtly at the end. And this is definitely told to us by how the last antagonist is defeated. Also, there's a choice that's made at the end where it feels too easy of a cop out but makes sense in the grand scheme of things but that's it now it's time to finish out this review with my final verdict with this series coming out to 64 chapters it's a great quick read to hold you over with no extra padding added there aren't many series like this out today and there's a reason why parasite is unique with the way its story is told the philosophy of the dichotomy between human and monsters and some of the choices they make throughout the story parasite is a great thriller action-packed horror mystery and one of my favorite series of all time now this series isn't perfect but let's be real what series is perfect but it dang near is to me so i'm gonna have to give parasite a 10 out of 10. So the time has finally come and Parasite Full Color Collection 1 is out now. I've been super hyped for this release since its announcement, so let's go ahead and talk about it briefly. This is produced by Kodansha and is literally just a full color hardcover version of the Parasite 1 volume we already have in paperback. It's the height of a usual manga hardcover like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure or the Full Metal Alchemist Full Metal Editions. The red and white look great with the hand on the front of the volume being very similar to the one on the paperback version. The spine feels great, the hardcover feels premium, and while the paper quality is a bit higher than usual it's not on par with the full metal alchemist hardcovers paper quality and a little neat thing about this is that with this p on the spine and there's supposedly being seven more volumes each volume in order will feature a letter to all form the word parasite once it's fully released so i'm excited with how the presentation will look on the shelf once it's complete if you're a fan of parasite go ahead and pick this up thank you guys for watching dark sage out peace